In this exercise, we want to add a controller to control the amount of steam that we add to the autoclave and we want to achieve a temperature of 150 degrees. So to do this, we'll use a feedback controller called a PID. So we'll go to Insert Unit in SysCAD and we get the Insert Unit dialog box and the PID controller sits within the control group at the top of the list. So if we open that group up and there's our PID controller, so if I click on that and I'm just going to use the default symbol for the PID. A PID unit is an orphan unit, it doesn't have any links to it, so we can place it anywhere on the flow sheet. I'm going to put mine next to the autoclave, so I'll place it there and click on the OK button. If I right click on the PID controller, we'll get the access window, and on the first page, this is a summary page, for each PID unit you can have any number of PID blocks, you can see at the moment the count is 1, so we only, we're going to start off with just one controller in here, but we can add more at any stage. So if we go to the P1 page, that's where we're going to enter all the information about this PID controller. So the first thing we'll start with is the name, and we'll call this temperature control. And then there's a description. The description is optional, you can fill it in or not, but it's very useful for other people to see what you were doing with your controller and also when you look back. So in that case we'll fill in a description here. As I say, that is optional. The important ones to fill in now is the set point, the measured tag, and the output tag. So the measured tag will be the temperature coming out of the autoclave, and the output tag will be the steam mass flow. So our measured tag, if I right click on the pipe coming out of the autoclave, so P underscore 007, and I want to measure the temperature in. So if I right click on that and say copy full tag, and then right click on my PID, and I want to paste that into this measured tag field. So I'll just say Control V, click on the OK button to accept that change. My output tag is the mass flow of steam, so if I right click on my steam feeder, and I want to pick up mass flow required. So right click, copy full tag, right click on the PID and paste that value into output tag and now I click on the OK button. Measured tag, output tag and now my set point and we want to control this autoclave to 150 degrees so I'll type that in. If I click on the OK button you'll see now I get this warning that my set point is actually greater than my in max. The in max is the greatest temperature that it would expect to see. So you can see at the moment the in minimum input is 0 and the maximum is 1. So let's change that. We'll say we don't expect it to get less than ambient temperature, 25, and the maximum, 250, because we're using steam at 275. So 250 seems a reasonable value. If I click on the OK button now, you'll see that that warning has gone away. Then our output, how much steam do we think we'll need? Well, we'll leave it as a minimum of 0, and the maximum, let's say 20 tons per hour of steam. The other thing you can now fill in, it's also optional, is you can give your controller a starting output value and this is actually quite useful for when you're setting this up. We have our steam at 5 tons an hour, so let's get it to start at 5 tons. So there we are, our PID is now all set up and it's ready to do its control. We've told it we want P underscore 007 to get to 150 degrees and go and adjust the amount of steam. So I'll push the run button and you can see it's pushed in 9.35 tons an hour of steam to achieve 150 degrees from the autoclave. I hope this has helped with setting up a PNID and in the next exercise we'll look at how you troubleshoot it and how you can copy the values into a trend window to watch how they change.